Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Kim here and today is Techniques Tuesday and I have a pre-cut file folder sitting on my desk here. Now um, today we're going to make a belly band with a pocket and in the pocket is going to be a um, bookmark tag and the tag is going to have a tassel. And so I thought what I'd do, uh, I've, I've made a few of them and they're, they're really cute. So I'm going to show you the some finished ones that I have already. Um, so this is the um, whole package that we're going to do today. And it is a tag slash bookmark um, that I've put in inside a little pocket here. And this will be glued down um, on the back side at the bottom and the top and add it into my journal as a um, belly band. So I'll be able to put things uh, inside of it as well as have the bookmark uh, to, to take out and place anywhere I want within the journal. Now you can fill this with other things. You can fill this with multiple things. That's entirely up to you. You can leave this as a floating pocket if you want, although it's quite a big pocket. I, I would like to put it down in the book, but you can also uh, make it a tuck spot instead of a belly band if you like. So instead of gluing it at the top and the bottom, you might glue along one side and just use it as a place to tuck something into. Um, so that's up to you when you're putting yours in your book, but this is what I thought we would make today. Now the tassels, um, if you watched my video the other day on, on uh, Thelma Made Me Do It, <laughs> I was making a red tassel, or I was making tassels uh, with the uh, red uh, crochet cotton that she left behind. And I did say in the video that if you were doing Techniques Tuesday, you might want to get uh, started and make some tassels ahead of time because I'm not making them today. I'm just going to show you how I use them in here. Um, but uh, you you might have wanted to make some ahead of time so you'd be ready for today. If you're not, that's okay. You just have to go back and follow that video. I will put a link uh, to that video in the description box below. And um, so this is what we're going to make. Now, I've made this with a file folder, but if you don't have a file folder, you can very easily do this with cardstock. Now, um, I'm just using a regular uh, size file folder, not a legal size. So it's, it's um, I don't know, it's approximately 11 and a half inches, I think, uh, by nine or something. And what I've done is, you know, while it's still folded so that there's two pieces here, I've cut uh, two strips that are three inches. And then I've cut one strip that's 2.75 inches wide. And then I have a leftover, which conveniently is another three inch one. So the three inch one is what we would use to make a pocket. And the 2.75 is what we use to make the bookmark tag that goes inside the pocket. So I'm going to get these ones out of the way. So these are just extra. And if you um, use these as uh, two extra pockets, um, you can always cut two tags out of cardstock or make a tag out of book pages uh, just by itself. So I'm going to put those aside because we don't need those anymore. Uh, but I will make them after this, this um, um, tutorial. So I've got the three inch strip and I've got a 2.75 inch. Um, so again, this is just so that I can fit the tag inside of the pocket that we create. Now, right now it is sitting at the full height of nine inches. So we're going to cut it down to eight and a half and I'm just going to take my, let's just go this way on here. Um, eight and a half is... Probably easier to do it this way, right? And it doesn't have to be exact, but you know, if you're using cardstock paper, your paper's already going to be eight and a half inches anyway. So now I'm just going to trim this off both pieces. You don't have to do both actually, just the uh, one we're going to use. Um, so they're right now they're both um, uh, eight and a half, but we're going to take the front one with which is the, how it opens this way towards you. I'm just going to say front here. And we're going to open it up. And from the fold going up, we're going to measure three inches this way. 
and cut this off. So conveniently, when you uh, cut, cut uh, let's see the leftover file folder here. Conveniently, when you cut this uh, three and a half inches wide, then you know exactly where to measure and cut. And so I'm going to just use this as my measurement. It makes it easier. And I will trim it on the inside of the ink line. So you're left with a piece that has the eight and a half inch, which is the full length of your book page uh, to, to go in your journal. And then you have this little three inch flap that, that uh, folds up like this um, to, to make your pocket. Now this is just an extra piece of um, file folder or cardstock, depending on what you're using. And so I'm just gonna trim this into a tag for after and uh, stick it aside for my own personal use. But now it's ready to go as a tag. I could have just left it straight. I see it didn't cut that very straight. I could have left it just straight and um, um, made it into a journal card as well. It's three inches by about uh, five inches, something like that. Uh, yeah, five and a half. So it's just an extra little uh, shipping tag that I can have in my stash. But this is what you're left with. Now, if you don't have a file folder to work with, then you would cut a piece that's three inches wide by eight and a half on, uh, eight and a half, uh, on your... Um, your cardstock sheet and then you would just cut a three inch by three inch square that is um, uh, separate uh, and it really doesn't matter either way so it can be a separate piece uh, and then we'll uh, put them together or it can be just one continuous uh, from a file folder and I like file folders I have them I know most people have them in their stash if they don't they can phone a friend so it's not about going out and buying cardstock it's about using what you have um, and same with if you don't have a, a, a file folder you can you can always make a master board and and uh, uh, collage on both sides so it gives you the thickness and do the same thing cut a piece that's eight and a half by eleven and then and cut a separate piece that is three inches by three inches. <clears throat> so once you've got this cut, um, you want to cut your whatever it is you're going to use to decorate. Oh wait, maybe we should do the the uh, tag next. So the tag is easy enough that it's going to be cut down to uh, eight and a half, and this makes two tags, so you don't need both of these. So I'm just going to trim this um, straight. And because we already know that this is eight and a half inches long, I'm just going to line it up here. And oop, this is the shorter one, which is fine too. It's not very short. Um, so I'm just going to uh, trim off the fold. It's the second one that's long enough. So mine will be just a little bit shorter, not much. Uh, and I'll save the other one for doing the next uh, the next uh, pocket. Um, so there's my my tag piece, and I'll put that one aside for doing later. And so we have the two pieces here. Now you want to decide what you want to do on these. Do you want to cover them with napkins or book page? Maybe you've done a collage master board to create these. Uh, maybe you've got scrapbooking paper uh, or uh, journal uh, sheets that you've printed out, like journal pages from a, a scrapbook or from a, a digital kit. It's entirely up to you how you want to decorate them. Um, so today, just because we had started working with Caroline's kit um, uh, that I had shown you her, her uh, digital kit, I'm going to use the same thing today. Uh, which is what I used uh, to make these ones. Thank you, Caroline. This is a gorgeous kit. And so I have my paper here. Now, this is a journal uh, thing, so I had to be a little bit more inventive as to how I cut my stuff. Um, so I need a, a three and a half inch wide uh, strip. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut off the, the uh, end pieces here. Yeah, you got to listen to me do this. Okay. And just to let you know, my little uh, spot where, I don't know if you can see it in here. Yeah, you can. Where I have my, my uh, glue bottle uh, sitting upright in my 
little makeshift thing that I made here is working really good. Um, so far, I haven't thrown anything in the garbage that shouldn't be going in the garbage. Um, it is, um, you know, I do have to empty it often, uh, which is annoying, but but uh, otherwise it's, it's good because I have two really huge garbage cans that are usually under my desk, one under my desk, one at my sewing machine, but this little thing does work. I just uh, can't keep my garbage too close to the table because things fall into it. So I'm going to take this paper. Now, I'm not worried about what's going on at the top there. I'm just going to line it up inside the pocket. And I don't want it to come right to the end. And, and the reason for that is when you go to glue papers down, a lot of times you don't get them quite perfect. And this allows you a little bit of space. Um, and it doesn't, um, you know, it gives the, um, the uh, manila folder or the cardstock sort of a way to be like a little bit of a frame around it. Um, so all I've done is I've tucked it in here right to the bottom of the pocket. And as long as it's, it's, it's reasonably straight, and I'm just going to slide it over so you can see how much space I've, I've left here. Now, when I turn it, and that's entirely up to you. That, this is just my personal way of doing it. You could just go right to your cutter and cut a three inch strip and then deal with the overhang afterwards. But I just like to do it a little bit shy and knowing that by the time I've cut it out on the other side, um, it, it will just nicely fit in here. So I just turned it over and I'm just taking a pen and I'm just going to mark it there and cut. And even for myself, even that is too much measuring. Um, I usually just wing it and hope for the best. Um, you know, then I say oops and cut again. Um, but for the sake of this video, I'm doing this for you um, so that I know that it works. So this is going to slide inside here. And you can see that it goes over the top. That's fine. I will probably pull it up even a little bit further and it will get uh, folded over and glued down to the back afterwards. But we're right now we're just going to cut out the rest of the pieces because there are some key things we have to do first. So I've cut out that piece. Now uh, I'm going to cut out the tag next because those are the things that we want the nicer pieces to be part of. So I'm going to cut out the tag and the same thing, I'm going to um, just slide it over ever so slightly so that it's not quite the, the width of the tag. Actually, I should be doing it from this, this direction, sorry. So it's not quite the, the uh, width of the tag, just slightly smaller. So that when I cut it, when I flip this over and draw my line all the way down and cut it, and I'm cutting it just inside the ink line that I've made so you won't see those lines. And I know that this is definitely, you can see that it's, it, once I frame it on the, on the uh, two sides, that it is um, going to line up very nicely on both sides and, and leave a little bit of an edge. Now, I will cut the bottom off, this white bottom piece. This way I know when I'm putting this down on the paper that it is exactly um, lined up with the bottom of the paper or, you know, leaving a little bit of a margin. So I will line it up to here when I'm gluing, knowing that it's going to fit in and go all the way up to the top. And then this little piece we can cut off after. No point in cutting it off now because if I shift around a little bit, um, you want to make sure that it works. So there is the, the tag cut out. And like I said, it's entirely up to you as to how you want to decorate these. Um, you can do anything that you want. So now I need a three inch wide uh, square. And in this case, this is what was left over of the page. So I'm just gonna use uh, these little bits uh, to, to make my, my um, three inch square. So I'm gonna do exactly the same thing and just line it up ever so slightly on the inside there. And draw a line again. Okay. 
And this leftover piece, we will come back to this after. I'll show you some of the different things to do with that. And this is the piece. Now, because this was a journal page that you would normally fold, of course, there's going to be this little distress line, but I really don't mind this at all. It's just for the outside of the pocket. And again, um, for the bottom part, I'm going to leave a little bit that we can fold back just for a finished look. So I kind of know where this is supposed to end up. So I'll just turn it over here like that and cut it off again. These are really fast to make. Once you get your paper cut and your, um, your, um, card, your cardstock cut, again, another leftover piece. So this is now the front of my pocket. And I see I have a little bit of ink. That won't show once um, I'm done because I will be inking it up anyway. But if worse comes to worse, you can always just uh, fold it back the other way. It really doesn't matter. So I've got an idea of where this is going to sit now. And again, I want it to be just ever so slightly below um, the uh, file folder. And just holding this in place you don't want to glue it just holding this in place so i've got it reasonably straight i hope you can see that i'm just going to take my my uh, round punch and just put a little divot in there Ooh, these things fly And normally I would do that at the same time when they're glued down, but we are going to glue the sides up first uh, when we're making this pocket uh, before we put the front on it. And um, we want to make sure we line it up under that um, thumb hole. And the reason for that is if you have it uh, glued down right flush with like right with this one, you risk having those little picky things and, and putting tags in and out, in and out, um, you you would probably pull this away a little bit. So I'm putting it down just a little bit further. And the other reason that I'm doing this is when we go to glue this, I don't want to run glue on the insides here because that makes this pocket smaller. And then you risk where the tag uh, is not going to fit, even though we've made this three inches and that 2.75. It depends on how much glue you've put as to how how um, uh, close you've come in. And then your tag is going to struggle to fit inside. So we are going to take some book page and uh, glue this shut. But before we can do that, we have to decorate the back. So this one back piece that I have to decorate, again, it doesn't matter about that white strip underneath because that's going to tuck inside. And I'm probably going to actually pull it up just a little bit so that this can wrap right around the, um, the, uh, back, of the, the back of the back of this pocket. Does that make sense? <laughs> so it's, it's, it's going to just be enough to glue and then fold over to the back side of the pocket. Again, the reason I like to do that is it gives a nice finished edge and there's no risk of papers popping up because once you have this glued down in your book, you're not going to um, uh, see the rough edges on the back side, just like I've done here. And, and you can see the little white piece on the back of this one. Same with uh, on the pocket. There's the, the bottom of the, the pocket as well. Okay, so let's get our glue out. I'm just going to use glue stick. Now, I would normally um, uh, stitch around these, but for the sake of this video, and because not everybody has a sewing machine, I'm just going to glue mine. Um, so, getting my glue stick. And yes, you have to watch me do this too. I hope you can see the purple when the glue is uh, going down. Okay, I'm just going to lift that off. 
And as the fold is, I'm going to go close to the fold without going over it. Maybe just a little bit less than the fold. And then slowly inching it up, watching my sides on both sides. Turning it over and folding that little piece down. I'm going to get this out of the way temporarily. And just pressing that into place. And pressing that down. So if your margins are not perfect, you know, you, you may have gone in an angle. Mine looks a little bit angled. And I've got a little bit more of a margin on this side than I have on this side. It really doesn't matter. You can trim it with your scissors. Um, you, you can assume that it might have been the paper that was cut wrong or the cardstock. But, you know, if we start fretting over that stuff, we're never going to get anything done. So this one, because it's going to be uh, glued down into your journal, uh, for the most part, as some of you may not, but um, for those of you that are going to glue it in the journal, of course, you do not want to cut the edges off. Um, but I'm going to ink around it now. So I'm going to just take my ink. Now this isn't a super juicy pad, so I can do this. Um, otherwise I would use my, my distress sponge, but it's uh, in my cart and my cart is not close enough for me to go fishing for it. So I'm just inking around the edges. And I do, I do keep these pads when, when they're dried out and um, I, I like to have a couple that are dry so that I can add only a little bit of ink and use it for this reason. But eventually these pads do wear out. They're, they're not expensive ink pads. And, and so they do wear out and, you know, they do get tossed. Mm -hmm. So now this is all inked. Um, now I want to glue up the sides. So I'm going to take a book page. And these look nice covered in book pages as well. First, I'm going to take off this rough edge. And I'm just going to cut off a couple of one inch strips. Put that aside. And they only have to be three inches long. So just lining it up with with the um, three inch pocket, just tearing off the excess. And taking my glue stick, which is on the table here somewhere, here we go. Oh my gosh, I, I would be so embarrassed if you could see my table, thank goodness you can't. It is totally teetering. <laughs> so I'm just taking my, my uh, book page and I'm just gluing it on the outside here and then folding it over to the back. And pressing it in place. And now I'm gonna do the same on this side. And this, um, as I was saying, allows that the pocket on the inside is the full uh, width of the belly band. And you didn't have to bother to waste time to cut out little flappy things and fold and score and all that kind of stuff because the book page is enough. You can also use washi tape if you want. Um, uh, anything that will uh, fold over and hold the two pieces in place. But now I have the full width 
of the pocket right to the edges so I can stick something uh, and not worry that it's going to stick or that it's not going to go in all the way because I maybe got glue that a little bit further into the pocket. Um, so, so this way I know for sure that I have the full width of the pocket to use uh, for whatever I put inside. So now that this is uh, uh, glued down on both sides, there it is on the back. If you were doing um, a eight and a half by eleven or eight and a half uh, by three inch uh, cardstock and a three inch cardstock on the bottom, then all the only difference you would have there is that you would have a piece of of a book page come around this way as well. So you'd have it glued on on three sides to make your pocket. Does that make sense? I hope so. So now in this pile, I have my piece that I cut out the little nub. There it is. And you can see I left that, that edge on the bottom. And that is so that when I put this on the pocket, I'm going to glue it down a little lower than there. And I will now then uh, fold this over so that gets glued to the back. Now you can make these, of course, any size. You just have to play around with, you know, how it's going to fit in your book. You can make them go the other direction, um, a, you know, a, a horizontal band instead. So it's just a matter of playing with um, the paper and deciding what you want for your book. So I'm just going to slide this up a little bit. And then bring it around to the back. Oop. And fold it up. Now I don't think I got enough glue on there, so I'm going to just fold it up again. So this will also reinforce if you um, are just using pieces that you can uh, also add this to give more strength to the bottom uh, to close it off if you're using the, the uh, three inch by three inch piece over top. Okay, so there is my pocket. And no matter how many times I do these, <laughs> So just so you know, I do the same thing um, as everybody else, it, and you will do this too. I forgot to ink it. So normally you would ink this, uh, once you've got the paper on, you you would uh, ink this, and, and before you put your, your sides on your, your um, uh, to close off your pocket, you would ink the file folder. But I never seem to remember that. <laughs> I don't know why. But, you know, those little scrappy pieces that we had left over? Well, I can just tuck one in there like that and take my ink and just gently ink around the, the uh, top edge. <laughs> and you can't tell that I really didn't do that. So now I can ink the sides, of course. And my pocket is, is made. Now, if you've got a little bit of curling, I just take my, my glue stick cap and I just keep pressing it into the, the um, pocket and, and it will eventually flatten out. And it'll, it'll also flatten more once it's dry. You can leave it sitting with something on top of it. And once you have it glued down, you're not going to notice that anyway. So there is the pocket ready to go. It's pretty fast, right? So now let's do the tag. And we cut the tag to the right size to add our paper onto it. And the paper is a little bit uh, taller at the top because we're going to fold that over. And we're going to just bring it up ever so slightly on the bottom here, just so that we have that, that uh, margin all the way around. Okay, so glue again. I think my glue is getting a little soggy because it's very warm here these days. And I think I'm at the end of it. I'm just going to grab another one. I think this one might be at the end too. Yes, it is. Okay. 
yeah, it's getting a little soggy because um, it's very humid in here. Uh, normally, I do have the dehumidifier going um, when I'm not on camera, but it's too loud to have it going right now. Okay, so taking my tag piece, and like I said, I'm going to go just a little bit up on the bottom. And following, I hope I'll leave the camera all this time. I'm following my margins a little bit and then just pressing it into place and turning it over. And look at that. I still have a, a measurement showing. <laughs> now there are ways to cover that and we'll get to that in a second. <laughs> Because you may also be using file folders that are used. Uh, you know, I just happen to have a new one. I just wrote all over it. Now, again, you can see that it hasn't, it isn't perfect lined up. It's, you know, I could have cut the paper wrong. I could have cut the tag wrong. Either way, it really doesn't matter. So along the bottom of the tag, I'm just going to cut the little nubbies off. And at the top of the tag, I'm going to make it into a shipping tag style. Now, I know uh, you guys don't like it or don't like to uh, just wing it. So you just would take your piece that you took off, hold it in place. And then cut it. See, now I, I make them more crooked when I do it that way than when I do it on my own. <laughs> So once you've got your tag made, of course, you can ink it up. And that white edge isn't so, or that um, manila folder edge isn't so intense uh, once you start inking. But it still just frames the piece a little bit, as well as it gives you less chance of picking things away. Okay, so now I'm going to take a hole punch and hole punch it. And you can do around that little hole punch if you want to. And my tag, uh, I'm just going to squish it down a little bit more here, is pretty much ready to go. But now because I've got this writing on the back side, I'm just going to take a little piece of that leftover strip that was um, after I cut out all the pieces I needed and I'm going to get my glue page and I'm going to glue this down. So that uh, covers the writing that was on there. It gives a little bit of interest too and breaks up the page a little bit. And since I had this piece left, I don't like wasting these things. I can use it for collage. Let me use my little scissors here. I can use it for collage, but I can also quickly just fussy cut out this piece. And I will leave the leftover brown um, pieces for doing collage. Um, there is also a pattern on the back of this because I had printed on both sides. Moment of silence. Yeah, I'm going to just, I'm not going to un uh, or take them apart. I'm just going to leave that little bit there on the side. Okay, so these pieces will still get used for collage uh, and they'll go probably right into my, my cluster book. Have you guys been working on your cluster books? Oh my gosh, I'm addicted to that thing. 
So I'm going to glue this down on the back side of here, um, just again to add a little bit more interest to the page. And I had those little pieces that I cut off. So I can, I can tuck some of it under here before I glue this down. And maybe a little bit down here. Okay, do you see what I'm doing there? This is again not to waste those little pieces and to get those scraps off your desk. So let's tuck this in underneath. Now before I put it down, I'm just going to look again as to where this was sitting. All right, so about there. Yeah, that looks good. And then this piece will go under here at the bottom. And this just adds a little bit more interest to your bookmark tag um, at the back as well. It still leaves you lots of room for writing, uh, for a writing space. And it just kind of frames that little scrappy piece that I put on there. And yeah, you can see this white uh, strip at the at the back. It really doesn't bother me. But, you know, if you don't like it, you can always cut it off. Um, so now I'm just going to put some glue on here on this little fussy cut piece. And I will do this also with half of a butterfly. Like I will, I will have, you know, maybe a... a part of a butterfly showing on my tag on the front and then I will uh, flip it over and cut the butterfly so that I can have it uh, on the other side as well. So I don't I don't waste all these little pieces wherever I can and this just adds a little bit more interest uh, to the back side of your tag and also it uh, helps to take away some of that that uh, curviness uh, that that was um, from, from only working on the one side. When you work on both sides, your tag automatically flattens out completely. Um, but when you only work on the one side, you have to ease it into a flat, flat, uh, a flat finish. <laughs> so now that I've got the back done, I'm going to again, give it a little bit of an ink, uh, just because this is going to be something that can be pulled in and out of the, of the, uh, belly band and now this slips right into the belly band it might be just a little bit too wet to go in right now there we go yeah it's still a little damp because I put the other stuff on the other side Okay, so now it's, you know, it's your choice as to whether or not you want to decorate the front of your, your uh, pocket or, you know, if you want to decorate the tag any further. I'm not going to do it. I had cut out these birds to do some, but I, I really don't want a bird on there. I, I want to keep it uh, fairly flat uh, to go in my, my um, journal. So it's not something that I want, but, you know, it's something you can do if you, if you had the... Um, the pieces, the collage pieces, you know, I always say a bird, a butterfly, a flower, and a label. So I have labels. Um, I can add a label. I can add the label onto my tag itself. Or I can add it down here on the bottom. Oh, that kind of looks nice, doesn't it? So I'm going to just add that right onto the bottom. And I just picked the first tag off the top. Didn't... Uh, So I'm going to add this down to the bottom of the belly band pocket. And now because I had these pieces left over from something else, I have a piece of lace here and a pin. I have a little piece of lace. I'm going to add that onto here. And I have this little scrappy little piece of gold um, ribbon. It was just an off cut from something else, but I'm going to add those onto here. 
I'm working and doing some stuff in purple right now, so um, I have lots of bits and pieces. And I'm just hot gluing this in place. Doesn't need much. This is on the outside. It's not going to have a lot of handling. I just put a little bit more glue on here. And lay that across. And this might be where you'd add like a button or a little uh, blingy thing or maybe a little butterfly or or um, or a label. If I hadn't already put a label down, you might add something like that or some beads. Um, it's entirely up to you, but I got a plan. I got a little plan, I think. So the next thing to do is to put my tassel on. And where are my tassels? Here they are. Now, if you watched the other day, I was making these tassels the other day. And so I was just throwing them all in here for now. And this is supposed to be my Christmas box, but I, I haven't uh, finished working on stuff to go in there yet. Oh, what a teetery mess I have here. So just taking my tag, I'm going to uh, weave this through the hole. Now, I always make these strings a little long for the tassel because you never know how you're going to tie them or what you're going to do with them after. So I always make them long because it's easier to do that now than, than um, in case I, I don't have the, the thread anymore. And this was just a very small ball of, of crochet cotton that I had. Okay, so I'm just tied that tying that on. I want to leave it dangle a little bit. Not a lot, but a little bit. So I'm just going to now tie it on a knot. I'm doing this right on the, with it in the pocket, only because I'm too lazy to take it out. <laughs> okay, and just tying that on. Double knot. Now, depending on how uh, secure you feel that this is, you may want to put just a little tiny dot of glue on here. I'm confident that it will stay on, but uh, just in case, if you think it might pop off, you might want to put a little dab of glue on there first. And then, of course, <laughs> because it's me, and this is how I am, I've got these two pieces left over. I'm just going to tie them into a little knot. Can you figure out what I'm going to do with this? And um, I'm going to put a little dot of glue on here. Just a tiny little smidgen of hot glue. And finish off my little floofy bit there in the center. So I've got a little bit of shabbiness going on here on the tag. And a few glue strands. But I managed to use up those, those scraps. Now this is a little bit long, so this is what I'm going to cut off. But the rest will stay on there. So there is the front of my tag. And I can still go and add a button on here or some kind of blingy thing. I have the label in the front, and I have the tag itself with the tassel. So this can be come out of the journal and uh, be placed somewhere if you want to put a marking spot. And, you know, it's not to say you couldn't put it back uh, afterwards or you can add some other things in here. But the bookmark is there and ready to use. So um, having done that, now I've got my my journal handy here and I did have a marker as to where I want to put it which is on this page here, and I am making mine into a belly band. So it will now uh, get glued to the page, uh, top and bottom. I will um, do it off camera. I don't have any clips here because I think once I glue it, there's so much weight that once I glue it, I'm going to clip it um, just with a couple of um, bulldog clips uh, until it's completely glued. But mine will sit in here so that I can use it as a uh, full belly band and tuck stuff underneath it and it's good to go and then this can just be a, a marking spot that uh, with the tassel hanging on the outside or I can take the bookmark out completely all together yeah I, I should have waited so it was uh, glued down a little bit or uh, dried a little bit more because it's catching on this part um, but yeah once once I um, uh, it dries I can take this in and out quite easily right now it's just a little bit tight so that's my uh, video for today. 
I hope you enjoyed this. And as you can see, I have three made. I'm going to sit around and play with these for a few more because I cut another whole file folder for you. And I, and I had, I still had some file folder pieces from when I started. So I'm probably going to get about six or seven of these. I'm going to try and do them all quickly. And, um, maybe I'll do an intro at the beginning of the video, uh, where you can see them all done. If not, I'll do it in a follow-up video. So that's it for this Techniques Tuesday. I hope it, it, it's something that you will uh, make and that you'll enjoy making and that it was uh, of interest to you. It's pretty simple, pretty fast, and yet pretty effective, isn't it? It's such a cute little piece. And um, so now uh, it is um, nearing the end of July. And I, we have, you know, lots of things going on and, you know, we have a garage sale coming up, which you're, you're going to get to see. Um, and, you know, we have uh, friends coming. Yay, Lori and Barry are coming. And, and different things are going to be going on through the summer. And, you know, Tom and I, we, we went for a drive yesterday and it was just like, oh, we, we got to start doing this. This is summer. And, and so, so, uh, I don't, uh, because Tom works part-time, our weekends are sometimes midweek. Um, but, I, I think that, uh, everybody else is the same in that we are, you know, um, uh, working in our gardens, uh, doing family things, doing summer things. So I'm going to, uh, take a little tiny break from Techniques Tuesday only because it's a lot of prep work in order to plan and, and have a, you know, something that is uh, worth seeing, but we will come back to this in the fall because we have lots to do in this book. And so by then, you know, I'll have a million new ideas to show you and share with you. Um, but it's not to say that I'm stopping videos. No, no, no. I have, um, I have all of the Thelma made me do it. That's, uh, on the fly and it's random and I can pick a project that's, you know, if I'm limited to time, I can pick a project that's fast and easy. Um, a lot of you have been asking because I've been talking about things like, um, uh, working on my, my, um, window dangles and doing some jewelry and, and, uh, other little small things as well as, you know, dissecting garments and stuff. So I want to do a few more random things through the summer so that I'm not, uh, uh, you know, where I can just work on something of my own and I can just turn on the camera and you guys can see it. So, uh, yeah, we're taking a break from techniques Tuesday. It's not to say I won't have a video on a Tuesday or any day of the week. Cause you know, I still got to go thrifting and I still got to do Thelma made me do it and all those other things. So we will have videos, but we will come back to this, um, uh, journal in the fall. So having said that, um, something that is coming up that's going to be really fun is I am uh, in the middle of making a dress. Yeah. Uh, and it is it is a dress for the for a mother of the bride. I'm just starting to do the videos on it. So I will uh, start to show you some segments very, very soon, probably within the next week or so. Um, but I'm doing it step by step. It's, it's out of the journal making uh, process, of course, but you know, there are a lot of things that we use for journaling, like lace and, and, um, fun stuff that, uh, I can also, uh, incorporate into this dress. So, you know, you, you will get to see some other techniques of things that I do and, um, it, it's going to be a fun project. I'm pretty excited to see how this is going to turn out, uh, and a little nervous because it's the first dress I've ever done. Uh, in this style. Um, so, so, uh, you'll, you'll get more information as we go along, but yeah, I have other projects that I will be, uh, posting and uploading and, um, uh, sharing with you. So it's not like I'm going anywhere. I'm, I'm just, um, taking the summer off from techniques. So that's it. And so I wish you all a very creative day and a creative week and a little bit of sunshine and a little bit of gardening and all those wonderful things and a little bit of vacay as well. And I look forward to seeing you all soon. Have a great day. Bye for now.